So we are going to measure the transmalleolar axis using the footprint method. So what's going to happen is I'm going to place this piece of paper underneath Peyton's foot and her leg is at a, or her knees makes a 90 degree angle. And so we're going to place this under her foot. So her foot is flat on here and I'm going to trace the outline of her foot. And then I'm going to make a straight line from the center of the lateral malleolus down to here. And I'm just going to mark a dot right there. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to do the same thing over with the center of her medial malleolus. there. So here were the two dots that we made from the center of her medial and lateral malleoli. I drew a line connecting the center of the two and extended the line. So I'm going to use my goniometer and put the axis right on the malleoli for on her medial malleoli and then line the line on the mobile arm with the line that I drew and extended. And you can see here that the angle that it forms is about five degrees. Okay, so the other way to do the transmalleolar axis is by having the patient prone. So their knee is at a 90 degree angle and their foot is placed to a 90 degree angle with the longitudinal axis which is just going straight down the middle of the thigh. So what you'll do is that you will come and place two dots with the uh, vertical line of the lateral and medial malleolus. And then you draw a line to connect the dots. Then what you'll do that you'll take your goniom goniometer and you'll measure the angle between the lateral malleolus and the uh, imaginary line, if you will, that will be perpendicular with this line of the malleolus up to um, their posterior thigh. While also keeping in mind of that longitudinal axis. And then what you can see, I got four degrees for their TMA.